Okay, so what is this? Uh, N is not too big, and you. Hmm. I think I want to use my iPad for this one. to start the Okay, so what the heck is this? Um really? This is true? <laughs> like okay, um Oh my god. Why? No, go away. Okay, so like, P to the... So if, let, let me first write K equals... Oh, K equals 1 doesn't make any sense, never mind. What, what about like, K equals 2? Um, P squared, choose Pn, we want equal to... Why haven't, yes. Edit access. I'm not giving you edit access. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> for like, oh, for that minute. Mm. <laughs> that, that is a lot of V-Bucks. Okay, so... I, I still don't have a sense what's going on. Can I just like, even the n equals one case, I'm not sure why I see why this is true. So this is like, oh, well, like how do I control p squared choose p? Um, I guess I write this out. This is p squared times p squared minus one up to p squared minus p plus one, p times p minus one. Mm. So this guy here is just P, this is the P, and then this whole blob here is apparently supposed to be 1 mod P cubed? Really? Is that true? Isn't it well known or something? Well, I mean, maybe? But like, I, I don't remember why it's true. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is a thing where if I want to grab this, I want to expand the binom. At least in the special case, I can check it by ex just like expanding everything. But I really don't want to do that. Uh, this is for p to the 5, right? k equals 2. Oh, sorry, there you could go mod p to the 5. Wait, that's really large. Oh, yeah, I can't count. Okay, so it should be 5. I'm so su so surprised that's true. Really? So p minus one. So apparently this is a true identity. Oh, 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 sorry, okay, maybe this is not that surprising, actually, because what happens is this thing is the constant term of this expansion. Like, this expansion, when I uh, multiply it out, will give me, um, 
is this one? Yeah, there's p minus 1. So it's like minus 1 to the p minus 1 times p minus 1 factorial. So then you just have to look at the p squared term of this and the p of the fourth term. The p squared coefficient is uh, it's the Wollstenholm thing. And the p of the four is something smaller. I still feel like this is larger than I remember it. Wollstenholm letting me get. But like, yeah. I think this thing, this thing should be divisible by p cubed. Uh, sorry, I'm also, ah, I'm being silly. Uh, we want the, it's only up to p to the 4 because we divide it by one factor of p. Uh, right, so I only need this to be divisible by p squared, which it is. Uh, okay, so at least I can do the n equals 1 case. Uh, <laughs> n equal, alright, well, okay, th this is the k equals 1, n equals 1 case. But I guess the k general situation won't be any different because I just replace, um, k with k minus 1 in a bunch of places? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, so this this is this will work for all any for all k. And then for all when n equals 1. So that part's fine. Uh Okay, four. Uh, cool. Let me do n equals two very quick, briefly, because I want to see if it will be basically the same thing. So for n equals two, what's the assertion? It's so it's like I'm gonna isolate the ones that are divisible. Um, mm. Like I want to squeeze out the. Okay, there's a 2p and there's a p to the k, and there's a p to the k minus p, and the l, eh, eh. and then like, so this is all n equals 2. Okay, that's fine. I want this whole thing, and then there's a corresponding thing down here, and here's the other one. Yeah. Um ah, no. It's one of those days. Let me make a quick plug for Dennis while I'm at it. I can put it in the actual video rather than just the Okay, so so what's the assertion? I want this to be p to the k minus one times p to the k minus one minus one. Choose two. Okay, okay, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So this thing always just corresponds to this guy, right? Like this is the blob here, and this is the blob here. Um. Like these, these are just equal, so we knock them out, and as I knock them out, um, how many factors of p do I shave off when I do that? It's like two, and this we're talking about animals. Yep. Thank you for the follows from HP two six zero eight and uh, Central. 
Some alt named Fugal Sheets posted. Oh my god. Do I have to do that now? How much time do I spend policing this forum? Oh man. <sighs> now there's a Hugo Sheets too, Jesus. Uh Okay, um You're only shaving P to the K minus one. Uh Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, yeah. Mm hmm. Takes out P to the K minus 1. So, we just want this blob to be congruent to 1 mod P to the K plus 2. No, wait. Last time. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> what was I doing before? Yeah, K plus 2, right? It's more of N is at least P? Oh, jeez. Is that gonna... Ah. So, am I... Am I... Well, regardless, like, if these identities are true, it doesn't seem like they stop becoming... Like, as I... As I push more values of... Wait, this is weird. <sighs> Jesus. How am I supposed to do math when I have to keep cleaning up CNP? Okay. I'll deal with it. Oh, don't worry, I already took them. I took out everything in the moderator queue. You might check the threads to see if there's anything else left. Okay, where was I? Okay, so, like, the point is that there's these blocks of P-1, and, like, we should just think they're probably just always equal, right? Um, specifically, um, when do I have, um... <laughs> yeah, sorry, I forgot DJ was here. I was like, oh, it's just me, but no, DJ's here too. In general, if I have a capital A, um... This is congruent to p minus one factorial plus uh, a times. <sighs> this is assuming like a is. Oh, mm, I see the issue. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no, it's it's okay. Maybe I'm not sure. Wait, now I'm confused. Okay, so that purple guy and that purple guy, um... This one and this one definitely knock each other out. Like this guy... And that one... Yeah, so we, we concluded these will kill each other. Why did these two kill each other? Um, 2p minus 1. Oh yeah, no, this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, okay, so, um... Mm, Alright, so I want to be a little more careful. Oh. Mm. Ah, yeah, alright, let's try this again. So it's like P to the K minus, like, uh, we'll just call it like CP plus 1. P 
p to the k minus c times p plus 2, all the way up to p to the k minus c times p plus p minus 1. And we are comparing that against cp plus 1, cp plus 2, and we are hoping it just vanishes mod... What's the mod? We, we want p to the k plus 2. Would be sufficient. Maybe it, it's not necessary. Like, it's possible that um, it's less than that, but this would be good enough. Okay. So... Okay, so, um, constant terms knock each other out, so there's like a p to the k and then there's a p to the 2k. The p to the 2k is big enough for large k, right? So we don't even... Yeah, I'm not even going to write the p to the 2k. I just need the fact that, um, if I have, like, something invertible-ish, it's like 1 over cp plus 1 plus 1 over cp plus 2, My hope is that this is divisible by p squared, and if it is, we should be okay? Oh my god. DJ, can you like help weed out the CNP kids while I do the math? <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling to keep up at this point. Uh, I've been doing that, thanks. Uh, yeah, that's, that's appreciated. Okay, so again, if I just pair up the fractions, I should get, um... 2 plus C... Oh, this is weird. This, this isn't doing what I quite what I wanted to do. Two, 2 plus 2c, right? 2 plus 2c times p on the top, and on the bottom, it's like cp plus 1, cp plus p minus 1. And then the next one is like, same numerator, 2 plus 2c times p, but the bottom is cp plus 2, and the other was cp plus p minus 2. And all of this we're working with mod p squared. So what I can do is I should be able to um, take out a factor of p, and now it's mod p, and once it's mod p, these all go away. And now it's just the Wollstonehome with an extra factor of 2 plus 2c, which shouldn't matter. So I think that should work, right? Does this just work? Am I missing something? I think this just works. These congruences hold mod p squared, and that's all you need. I don't know, Wollstonehome is easy to prove. I think we're basically proving Wollstonehome in this problem. Okay, uh, this is just- this just works, right? I, I'm not missing something? Like, they're- they're... Oh my god. <sighs> I'm changing the stream to emote-only mode for a while, I'm sorry. Or actually, I can do sub-only mode too. Uh...
Yeah, subscribers have so subscribe. Oh my god. Okay, that didn't help. We're just using emotes only. That, uh, that works better. <laughs> okay, can can people tell me by emotes if like the solution's correct? Uh, am I missing something? Because I I think this should just work, but it feels a little too simple for the place. Okay. Thank you, N506, for the chair. Yeah, but this- I I'm not missing anything, right? This, this just works? You can't cancel the multiples of P in the denominator since it's mod P squared. Uh... No, it, it's, it becomes mod p after I take out the p on the top, right? Like, it's initially mod p squared, and then there's a you get a factor of p in the top, so when you strip away the factor of p, um, now it's, it goes from mod p squared to mod p, and then you can just kill off the thing. Uh, why was it emo only? Uh, there was a lot of spin. Okay, cool. I, th I think this just works, which is nice. Same as special? Okay, great, great, great. I was worried I missed something, because I was like... I, I was thinking about the ways that this could become harder, like, if the... Because this claim here was um, only sufficient. It wasn't necessary because of factors of P that would come up later. So I was very surprised that it just, like... Um, went okay. Okay, I guess we're doing Geo now.